So if we want a shortcut, our way out of suffering, we have to use our freedom and our understanding to not invest in those thoughts and feelings anymore. That try to convince us that my suffering comes from this outer cause. And I'm distinguishing here, and then we come to Leslie's question, the difference, there is a difference between suffering and pain, of course. Painful sensations might be there. If I get hit by a water bottle, like yesterday my favorite tennis player, Novak Djokovic, on the head, uh, I, it will hurt. If I'm suffering from that, when I, okay, I go to the hospital and they check, okay, nothing needs to be stitched, la la la. So am I going to sit there now all day and 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 whine about the 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 bad universe that it's me why me why did i get or how can this happen and i need to play tomorrow and no uh, then i'm gonna suffer the pain passes but the psychological suffering can remain for a long time so let's take into consideration here leslie's question what is the difference between suffering and sadness. Sadness is just a sensation. It's just a feeling, a phenomena. That is, experienced, that I am aware of, that you are aware of. It's neutral in its way. It has, of course, a quality of sadness. It has a certain quality of sensation, a certain density, a certain intensity, depending on the degree of the sadness. So in my humanness, it will express itself in some way or other. When there is grief, then it will express itself. But the suffering comes from attaching this sensation, this feeling, to the belief that it is me, the person who is sad. That sadness is having the power over me to make me miserable. It's the same with pain. We can be very well sad and free in the same time, free of suffering. When I watch a movie, which doesn't happen often, but when I watch a movie, I'm pretty much crying every time. Nowadays. It's been a while like that already. I can watch an action movie and I find something that touches me so much that I that I will cry anyways. So why am I crying? Well, I'm enjoying the movie. It's, it's touching me and I want to be touched. It's my freedom as consciousness. I, why would I watch it if I don't want to be entertained? 
and part of the entertainment that's the crazy part is sadness it's part of the of the entertainment of a human experience so to speak if i go to watch a drama uh, opera, opera and there is the final scene and oh i pay entry for that maybe to to shed a tear over this this dramatic finish because i i i can but i don't i don't go out of the theater hopefully so identified with the character of the drama of the play that i'm now miserable for the rest of the day it's the same in this play if something touches me and 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 sadness comes the loss of a of a loved one or my humanness might produce neutral feelings of sadness so to speak and and they feel sad they have a certain quality but if i don't invest if i don't identify with the character the avatar on the stage of the play it just moves through it just takes its momentum and then and then it passes it's like the sunstorms they move through and they have a, maybe even a certain effect on on my body mind on my avatar and then it passes and as more transparent the system as more i may be affected and feel them but as less as less long they stick and i might weep like a baby in the movie and five minutes later i have totally forgotten about it and i'm happy like a, like a child we can observe this in children uh, they can switch from mega drama within a split second oh hello forgotten just forgot they forgot that they were miserable from one second to the next it's just our attachment our investment in this is me hey i am miserable i am sad i am this that makes it stick so long and as little children often are still very innocent so more and more rare unfortunately then they can just express that emotion very intensely and the next moment it's gone they have surrendered they don't even know what that means that's why it's not something that we have to learn to do surrender is not really a practice it's just our nature it's like oh boop, i let go of that idea of me being invested in that and and here i am and yes the sensation may has its momentum in us and if there is a history of sad circumstances in my life where i have invested myself into then there might be a storage of sadness in me connected to this trigger to this circumstance to the sunstorm and then maybe old sadness be pouring out of me old sensations might be pouring out of me it's exactly what's happening now through this stronger geomagnetic phenomena i might get affected by this phenomena and i get in touch with some deep sadness frustration depression anger all of those phenomena can be touched through those triggers and if i'm able to apply my understanding that i am untouched as consciousness from them i can allow them to just dance their dance in me just play out the sensations those thoughts that come up and then they pass i 
I think you've heard me use this term before. We have a small circle today. We are kind of in our living room, so I can I can say, you know, I call it happy shit sometimes. It's this it's this fascinating phenomena. I can be happy and feeling shit in the same time. Because these are two different dimensions of the one reality. The screen and the movie. The screen is screening happily, aware what's going on, and the character is having such a tough time. 